Hello. I'm here on a Monday in the middle of the day because it's Memorial Day. I don't have work. So today, something a little different. We're going to do tastings videos in a bit, but I got a note, text technically, from a friend from college, the lovely and talented Lydia Burris, and she asked me if I sent you one of my patron crazy mails, would you do an unboxing and show people what it's like to get crazy mail? Of course I said yes. I love Lydia. Lydia is an amazing person and a great artist. In fact, before we even get to the crazy mail, I'm going to show you. This is the most recent, like, batch of stuff that I've gotten from Lydia. These are bookmarks of some of her art. Obviously, this one is Dream Morpheus. From the Sandman series. These are just these are just bookmarks. She sells these, I'm sure. And I also picked up this. And she's titled this one New Awakening. I just adore the detail that she put into that dragonfly. The wings, everything about it, gorgeous. And the way that it becomes the crown, very beautiful, in my opinion. I haven't had time to get it framed yet, but I have multiple pieces of Lydia art. Um, actually, the very first portrait that was ever made of me, Lydia made, I have that. I have several pieces of poster size stuff that she's done. I've got some sketch stuff before she went away to England to get her master's in fine arts. I bought a whole bunch of stuff at her going away sale. Um, I have a little commission piece from her that I love. But we're here to talk about this. This is Crazy Mail. And Crazy Mail is from Lydia's Patreon site. And I'll put a link to Patreon site down below. Um, Patreon is a place where you can go to help support artists by basically being a monthly donor to their art. And for that, they tend to give you something in return. Um, if they're like a YouTube artist, like Joe Warlock, Joe Warlock puts thank yous. You know, Lydia, she makes art, so she sends you art. The envelope in and of itself is art. There's Lydia's stamp. You can see this is the back of the envelope. I can't really show you all of the front of the envelope because, you know, I'm not giving away my address. Hi, children! So, but you can see she uses stamps, she uses paint, everything that she can use to make it interesting. And once you open it, it is what it claims to be. It's a mystery. There is always randomness within her envelopes. The crazy mail, you know, usually an envelope about this size, sometimes larger, um, depending. If you support her a little bit more, she sends you, like, chunky physical structure kind of objects. Sculptor! But not really sculpture. Um, repurposed stuff which I've seen and are amazing. So let's see what we got. There's all sorts of stuff in here and I'm going to be highly entertained by it, I'm sure. So you actually do get mail, you get a letter. 
And this one, up in the corner, she personalized it to me because she knows that's where this one was coming. Um, I don't get to spend as much time with Lydia as I'd like. And the sad thing is, I think she may be thinking about moving soon. So I'm going to have to spend all the time with her I can. Um, then there's an actual, like, everybody gets the same letter letter. Uh, and she asks questions. She wants to talk. She wants to have a conversation with you in this because you are now her patron. You are someone who's supporting her. So she wants to know a bit about you. She wants to incorporate the things that you love into the art that she loves. So that's really cool that she, you know, she asks questions. She wants answers. Um... There are quotes, there's poetry, there's art on the back side. Yeah, it's, this is the way Lydia's brain functions, quite literally, on paper. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then there's this stack, the stack of stuff that is included. So here's another, this is a little welcome. Greetings, friend. Come inside the mystery envelope where secrets hide. Strange creations, dreamy art, ambiguous yearnings of the heart. If you do like what you found, there is more to get. get all, your, all year round, crazy mail is what I send through post around the bend. I offer these and many more through Patreon or my Etsy store. So she also does this through Etsy. Ten bucks a pop anytime, monthly, once, or all the time. Thank you, and have a lovely day. And actually, right there are her patron, patron and her Etsy's, but I'll make sure that I put them in the links. I don't do that that often, but this is the first time I've been asked to, you know, be professional about doing this. So, what all did we get? Well, we got a little vellum paper butterfly which is very Lydia. Um, insects play a large part in several of the things that I've seen from her and I don't know if she recognizes that but I think it's the structure of them that she finds so fascinating. So paper butterfly. We got some stickers so we have a chihuahua in goggles that says, wow. We have a deer that says, brilliant. And we have a bunny that says, hop to it. So those are all random stickers. I'm becoming obsessed with stickers right now. Um, and I'm thinking about using them in class next year because even high schoolers, for some reason, adore getting a sticker on their paper. So, I'm kind of excited about that. So, I don't know what to go for next. I'll go for this. This is printed on film paper. So, the kind of stock that you would get your school pictures on. And this is the picture that is on it. This is one of her pieces. I love this. It's very, to me, this speaks of elves, but not the green wood elves. This is like the, the bright jungle elves. Look at all the color. It's still got that elven quality, but it's very much bright and colorful. I love the feel of it because it is on that photo paper. So that's kind of cool. So, little tiny bit of art. This, this is exactly what it looks like. It says, a piece of the process, of process. Lydia doesn't use a traditional palette. She uses paper plates and mixes her colors and all of everything that she needs on the paper plates. And this is the leftover from 
her working on something. Look at the colors that she she builds. I mean, that green, that minty green right there is obviously something that she's designed. And there's this gold mix in the white over here and all of the bright colors down here. I hadn't even noticed that that purpley red right there until just this moment. But and then there's this big hunk of black. She does such amazing things with so many shades. From her style, you'd think that she'd be kind of one color palette, but she can be bright and fire, or she can be cool and, you know, wind. It just depends on what she's painting, what she's designing, and, you know, having helped her on a few occasions with some of the stuff that she's doing, I can attest to the range of color and activity. So we got this, which is postcard size. It's, you know, nice, slick paper. And it's a portrait. I'm not going to say it's a self-portrait, although it could be. We don't get any full-fledged information. But I love the look of this. Again, the things that I see, I see stars. I see a person who's a traveler of the universe because you've got the bright stars, you have the ley lines of direction, all sorts of things that you can read into it on your own. But absolutely beautiful stuff. And the last piece is signed, signed by Miss Lydia. It's an original piece, and it's small. But, you know, sometimes small is cool. Um, this, I... One of the things that she often does is she takes old books, paperbacks, whatever, and she will cut out words that she likes and repurpose them into different phrases. So this one says, it's just nonsense. And look at the detail in the artwork behind that. Look at all of those miniature lines that she's taken the time to create into the piece. And where she wanted the white, the red bleeding down. I love that. It's gorgeous. And it's tiny, so, I mean, comparative to me, um, comparative to the postcard size, yeah. you can do all sorts of things with this. It's perfect to go in a tiny little frame. This is what you get. Ten bucks. You can give, a, give her ten dollars and she'll give you one. You can give her ten dollars a month and she'll send you months at a time. You know, Lydia is an amazing person, an amazing artist, and I know that she's selling crazy mails at the shows she's going to be at this year. Just you know, pick an envelope. If you want this kind of fun in your life, if you think that Lydia's art is amazing, like I do, and you want to help support her, this is a quick way to do it. So, thank you, Lydia, for sending me one of your crazy mails, and I hope to see you soon, Miss Lydia, and all the rest of you. I'll see you again really soon, too. So, talk to you later. Bye!